Good morning, America. I am Star Lord New Thor 7, your planetary defense commander. And when I gave this alert on October 1st, and I told everyone, you are on major weather, hurricane, volcano, earthquake alert until November 1st. This is one of the events that I'm talking about. I technically started that alert on the 26th of September. On the 28th, there was a 7.7 .7 earthquake and the tsunami in Indonesia. And now we have Hurricane Michael, which is four hours from making landfall on Florida in what, what people were saying is an unprecedented, unforeseen event. And technically, we could see it, like I said, that the things that lead up to this month and this month's energy peaks on the 17th <clears throat> from the warning. So we still have a week to go to where it's going to get wild. And so um, if you are in the major severe area path, I just want to say the roads are clear, though no one would suggest you leave. Um, but like now that the storm is turning into a major monster and is borderline category five, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do to make sure you and your people and your puppies or cats are alive. So this is Jim Cantore, already incredible wave run up to Panama City Beach. That parasail building and chair will be gone before noon. The latest pass with extrapolated pressure would be 925.9 millibars, which is 5.9 millibars away from being a Category 5 hurricane. It's brought to us by the Weather Geek, Weather underscore Geek. And we've got these Saturnian, Pentagonian vortices that are in the eye of the hurricane and there's almost even a face at the very end so this is an event for sure Anthony Maselio this the asymmetric configuration taking on some higher level dry air yesterday successfully moistened the upper shear quadrant overnight early this morning the barrier and orientation of deeper convection may have protected the core from any infiltration. Weird. I thought almost everything had been infiltrated these days. But that's probably just because my father told me, trust no one, when I was growing up. All right. Dada Boo, the wave master, really confused why the NHC continues to say Michael is moving north. Well... I don't know, man. It seems like shit has just gotten a bit shittier lately. So I guess, since everybody's fighting all the time, people are worn out. And when you're worn out, you don't do as good a job. So, I don't know. That's all I got for that one. Henry Marcus Sidia. Weather Madness. Just found 149 knots wind. Or 172 mile per hour wind in the eye based on radar. Waiting for radar to see what it finds. I bet they go cat fine. And so, yeah, I mean, the, that's not even an eye. I ain't never seen no square or pentagon-shaped eye. It is now something else. Jacob Morse is just going to leave this here. That was when it was at 169. And, buenos dias. Especially, especialmente. Para ti. Dang it. Buenos dias. Especialmente. Parati. Wink. Oh, hey. My first name is D. That's cool. Good morning to you, too. Good morning, everyone. Yes, this is scary. Yes, this is going to be deadly. But I started telling you about this 11 days ago, and I'm taking you through it. And technically, smoke if you got them. And this thing is going to last for about a week. It won't sit and rotate. But what it will do is it will go up the 
East Coast and projected to be Category 1 Hurricane Strength over land. Hey, check out the mesovortices spinning within the eye of the hurricane. It's... It's... It's a day. If there were one day all Americans set aside their political differences, thought good thoughts, said prayers, then, um... That would be fantastic. And so I call upon my fellow Christians. I know a lot of the Republicans take pride in being Christian. Well, today is a great day to pray for your brother. Not think you know exactly the interpretation of revelations and who you're damning to hell. How about we're all God's children and only God can judge. So on a day like today, we stick up for our Americans and we be prepared to help them in any way we can when this event passes. Pretty please? Dickweeds? Alright. Weather optics, another 7 millibar drop from Michael in the last two hours alone. So with four hours left, it could we could see anywhere 14, 15, 10 millibar drop. It looks like this is definitely going to be a cat 5. At this rate, we could be looking at one of the strongest hurricanes to ever hit the U.S let alone the Florida Panhandle. Only six or seven storms in the last hundred years have hit with pressure lower than 925 millibars. Wait, let me read that again. Only six or seven storms in the last hundred years have hit with pressure lower than 925 millibars. So, yeah, that this warning, and remember, doesn't peak till the 17th, though technically it could be anywhere from the 11th to 17th, and then it will walk down in severity and then we'll probably do it all over again in six months though not as bad hopefully we can discuss that later landfall is four hours away and that was 38 minutes ago so it's now three hours and 22 minutes away and oh also for the last five and a half hours I've had a growing pain in all of my teeth, a headache, and a ringing in my ears. It is increasing as the strom storm grows stronger. Is anyone else out there feeling this? And I want to say, as someone who's had this YouTube channel for almost six years now, who's been telling everybody about how the sun is changing, and our magnetic field is changing, and so our Earth is changing, and our solar system is changing. And we're in a star field. And everything's changing. And so we, as people, have to come together as one Earth family and adapt to these Earth changes. I pretty much laid it out in the science that I've showed, my theories, they all line up. I mean, I, the proof has been in the pudding. Whereas most of the time, science is just like, it's carbon. It's this invisible... You can't see it, can't touch it, can't smell it, can't taste it, but it's there and it's screwed up everything. It's invisible. It's like dark matter. It's like, no. Well, maybe, I mean, you, I, I'm not here to argue, but I'm saying the sun affects things. Volcanoes affect things. And so, I don't know. I'm just very frustrated. I don't know how to bring us together faster and better to meet these challenges together because any other way will fail. Yeah, like, at this point, there's still time for people, like, it's up, make, you know, 100 feet. If you've seen some of the tsunami videos from Indonesia, sometimes the distance between 100 feet can be whether you survive or not. So, you have to use a force, it's all on you. And I laid it out for 10, 11 days, hoping people would get it. Here we are. What are the mesovortices? Think of them as small, compact, extremely intense features of the storm's rotation. In Michael, we are seeing five of them. Wave number with the storm's immediate eyewall. <clears throat> A similar phenomena was observed with wave number four in Harvey. So, 
Yeah, it's just it's a wow day. Out of, we've been hit. This will be the fifth hurricane hit on the United States in the last 14 months. And this will probably be at a level of Hurricane Maria, which devastated Puerto Rico. And then we had, you know, a major earthquake and volcano eruption in Hawaii that took out neighborhoods and highways. And we've had a lot of really natural disaster movie type events happen. Somehow, everybody's been like, oh, no, no, I can't worry about that. I got politics to worry about. And by me worrying and talking about politics all the time, somehow that changes everything. That affects it. And, um, you know, that, that, that hasn't worked out so well. And I, and I hate to break it to everybody, but uh, the problems we're going to be dealing with probably aren't going to be solved anytime soon by just votes. The only thing that will solve it is teamwork. It's like the end of the movies where the highly dysfunctional team who are all a little bit flawed but still have love in their hearts figure out a way to work together and win in the end. <clears throat> and that's where we're at. So this is a major damaging destructive hurricane that is about to land on the doorstep of Florida and then move up the East Coast. So once again today is the day for Americans to put aside their differences and come together for those who will need us in the very near future. So God bless everyone. Stay cool and may the force be with you always.